Good Monday evening, Southeast Texas. Hope you're doing well. Looks like improving rain chances are here uh, by midweek. First off, as you can see, just isolated activity. That's what a 10% coverage means on Tuesday. We'll go with 30% coverage on Wednesday and then uh, could be soggy as we head towards Friday and the weekend. Could there be more? Absolutely. But because of the uncertainty, I'm unwilling to go more than a 50% coverage. Otherwise, high pressure has been in charge of our area's weather through the weekend, and that's what's resulted in a dry weekend for our area. That high is going to move up towards North Texas, the Red River Valley, and weekend. Remember, when the atmosphere from the surface to the top of the troposphere, around 12 kilometers, is dry, it's hard to make showers and thunderstorms. You need the atmosphere to be moist. Then you can develop showers and thunderstorms. So we'll be watching that high weaken and a northeasterly flow to continue. Disturbances can be embedded within this flow. But I think by, say, Wednesday, notice how the atmosphere moistens up. See how the brown is very low humidity? It goes pretty green at least in the mid-levels of the atmosphere as we head towards, uh, say, Wednesday. So any disturbance will then be able to help generate those showers and storms. You can have disturbances come, in, come on in, but if you don't have moisture in the atmosphere, it's hard to make showers and storms. I think that's going to change as we head towards Wednesday of next week. In the tropics, let me zoom out first. If there's any doubt we're at the peak of hurricane season, look at this graphic. We've got three areas we're tracking. This first one in the far eastern Atlantic probably won't be an issue for us, and neither will this one in the central Atlantic. But again, all three of these systems have a moderate risk of becoming a depression or named storm. This one in the eastern Caribbean bears watching as it moves on off towards the west. Probably will be into the western or northwestern Caribbean uh, this weekend. And then what happens to it? Well. Very early, and these models don't have any low pressure system because it hasn't formed one yet to latch on with. So there's going to be huge changes from run to run. The, basically, what we can say right now is that there's a lot of uncertainty. We'll probably have a name storm or at least a depression in the western Gulf of Mexico as we head on into Monday. Could it affect Texas or Mexico? Yes. And that's all I can say at this point. We just don't know. Until a low actually develops, which hasn't, then all bets are off. And it's just too early to have anything trackable at this point. So we will continue to monitor that. Tonight looks like mostly clear skies. Temperatures will be very warm, like that's a surprise in late August. Mid-70s in the lakes to the mid to upper 70s in the triangle. Tomorrow. I'm willing to go with 10, maybe 20% coverage of showers and storms. Could there be more? If this is right, yes. We'll see. You've been warned. On the Gulf of Mexico, mostly smooth seas around a foot. We'll see northwest and southwest winds at 5 knots. Water temperature 89. Our forecast tonight, mostly clear, warm and humid. Lows mid to upper 70s. Tomorrow, a hot day. I'll go with 10% coverage. Again, it could be more than what I have. Highs will be in the mid-90s, so a green bar day tomorrow. Then with the atmosphere moistening up, we'll see a scattering of showers and storms are able to form. A 30% coverage Wednesday, 40% coverage on Thursday, and then Friday. Let's just say, I hope you enjoyed this past weekend because this upcoming weekend doesn't look as pretty. Download our app, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.